help Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Most times people ask why is it that uh, people are following Nam, uh, Nam De Kano and uh, Simon Eba? The response is this. Because they are speaking the minds of their people. Other so-called leaders have been muted by the enemies of Biafra. Enemies of Ndibu have muted the governors. They no longer speak anything that concerns Ndibu. No, they don't talk. Even when Igbos are killed, they don't talk. When Igbo shops are burnt, they don't talk. When Igbo houses are demolished, they don't talk. When two Igbos are fighting, they don't talk. And this guy will be earning respect for himself, fighting for the masses. Listen to his reaction of the ultimatum he gave, why he gave the ultimatum, and what he's talking about concerning Ezako and the so-called pastors that are causing his arrest. Listen to what Simon Ipa said. And you find out there is wisdom in Simon Ipa. There is wisdom in Biafra agitators. Please give them Biafra. Let us have that Biafra and our life will change. Our land will be safe. Our culture will be safe. Our economy will be safe. Let's listen. Thank you. And uh, I think this is my first time to speak. Um, I want to thank you so much about, uh, in terms of a Christianity, things, churches, and everything that you mentioned for last time. Because I see we have many problems on it. Mostly our people. Because we have population there. And what them is preaching there is our people's mind. And them is not caring if them is dying. So when I hear that and uh, when I see the brokers, I'm so happy. And I want it to be fast because things is going wrong. So thank you so much. I appreciate for the time and the effort. Thank you very much. And uh, I think uh, when you have mentioned touch this issue of religions, I want to make it very clear that uh, we are not... Uh, uh, you know, siding any religions as a government, per se, okay? But what we are trying to do is to make sure that uh, there is equality, there is respect to every other religion. We have three official religions in Biafra, the Jewish religion, Christianity, and in Biafra, traditional uh, Omenala religion. These are the three main religions in Biafra, which must be respected and valued. So that's our our stand. And then, of course, on the on the issue of uh, the ultimatum given to uh, release one of the one of the uh, Biafra or uh, traditional Omenala uh, preacher, uh, you know, I've said I will not make any further comment on that. But uh, because you have asked this issue of religion, I will still not make any comment again on that. But let me also make a very a very quick uh, addition you know, using this particular opportunity. In Biafra and in every developed country, and in fact, in every state that understands what is the rule of law is, when somebody blackmail you, when somebody verbally attack and assault you, when somebody defame your character in public, it is not the issue of police. I want to make this particular clarification. I want to point it out. I want the media team to call this particular session now. It is not police that should handle such matter. What the people who have kidnapped, because it's a kidnap, who have kidnapped Ezaku did was to hide under Christian religion to commit evil and atrocities against other religion, which can never ever be accepted in their land. It is not police issue. What they ought to have done is if Matthias was being abusive or blackmailing other pastors and all that, those pastors will now have to go to court and sue him to court if they feel that he has defamed their character. Not using police to intimidate. 
not paying money to Abuja police, Nigeria terrorist police, to come to Biafra now to intimidate those preaching the Biafra Omenala because they have the money. This is what we have to put a stop from this particular Isaac or whatever it's called. You can't be doing that in this 21st century. If the guy have done anything wrong, go to court. It is not police. To pay money to police to come and kidnap him because he has the money. And believe me, believe me, I will not, I will not talk for that on this. My, my issue has been made uh, public. The stand of the Biafra has been made public. You can't be intimidating Biafra people because you have money to pay to police. And for the person airing his own view, if the person blackmail you, take the person to court, not police. In the Western world, what you do is to file a criminal investigation report to police to investigate whether this person has committed crime through his utterances. Whether this particular slandering or blackmailing or deformation of character falls under the, under the crime that police can prosecute. Police don't need to go and start harassing the person, kidnapping the second time, kidnapping the first time, in order to prove a case. It doesn't happen like that. And that's what we are laying the foundation now. So for those who are thinking that we are already siding of the traditional Mirala, you are far away from it. I stand for the truth, and I am going to be the voice of Bezako Matthias. And I'm going to be the voice of any other person that they are using Nigeria terrorists to fight in the name of you have money. That is what I'm doing. So it is not limited to exactly. It can happen to anybody, including pastors. We have seen pastors that are sleeping with women, with a married wife, married uh, women. We have seen pastors that are caught with a human head. Do we condemn all pastors that are like that? No. The same thing goes to traditional Mera worshippers. We've seen people committing evil with the traditional Mera worshippers, worshipping. We've seen people doing honor of evil with the traditional communal way of living. That does not mean that every other person is evil. No. But what we are trying to say is that if this guy commits any crime, go to court. It is not police. You can't use police to hit his head, abuse him, physically assault and brutalize him. If for that, it's completely condemnable. And we are going to use this one to set an example. Mark my word. I will never speak again, like I said. I'm just saying this because there are some issues that needed to be clarified, especially on the rule of law, which I've just explained now. Again, if you arrest somebody globally, that person must not be detained, deprived his right for more than 72 hours. That's where the 72 hours come from, my people. So for those who are asking Samanepa, where is the law? This one, that one. 72 hours is the available and the only legally acceptable time you can de detain anybody. After that, you don't have the right to. After that, any other thing is crime. The same thing we are fighting for Mazen Amdekano is the same thing the church, who have been preaching to release Mazen Amdekano, has done. This is completely condemnable. You cannot be shouting, release Mazen Amdekano, and at the same time, you do worse than what the people who did not Mazen Amdekano have done. It's a, it's a complete double standard. It does not represent Christ. It does not represent Christianity. You cannot be shouting in your altar, eh, Mazen Amdekano must be released. Meanwhile, you are arresting and kidnapping people in prison because you have money, because you have a contact, because you can call police in Abuja. That we will use a book to set example. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, PM. I'm so happy. I think I am very happy for everything that you already said here. Thank you so much. Continue your good work for us.